you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am so excited about this video I, you have no idea so today i have a wax video to share with you it is from one of my top vendors zape so with zape they have been one of the very first vendors i have ever purchased from and it's been a long time too long so what does that mean that means a big old haul um yeah um, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is from Wichita, Kansas, and Ashley is the CEO, CEO, however you'd like to call it. She's awesome. She actually has a brick and mortar store as well. If you're ever in the Wichita, Kansas area, I've never been, but it's definitely someplace I'd love to go to. So with Zape real quick as well, I have wax melts in here. I have sugar scrubs. Um, I have whip soaps. When yeah. it comes to the actual wax melts, I have both shapes as well as clamshells. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's been a while. Her scrubs and whip soaps are some of my favorites. Uh, the Bathing Garden and Zape are some of my favorites when it comes to um, body care. So let's get busting this open. Uh, right off the top, the packaging is always excellent. And then we have a oh, really cool card on the back. Oh, thank you so much, Ashley and the gang. Um, it says, you are amazing for supporting our small business. We love to see you enjoying your product. Oh my gosh. These look so cute. This is a wax melt shape in Beach Bum. Look at these cool shapes. It's like, like blue on the bottom, but layered and trichrome. So Beach Bum is coconut, vanilla, sugar cane, and summer fruits. Guys, I'm so looking for These are huge. Like I can get six to eight wax melts, slice it like a pie. Oh my gosh, you guys, that smells so good. It smells like a great tanning lotion. Not suntan, not sunscreen tanning lotion. Oh, that smells so good. I have had Beach Bum in the past. Again, it's been far too long. So, oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Ashley, you did a great job. <gasps> I'm so excited about these shapes, you guys. Okay, so next one up, we have shapes in Frosty Palace. This is vanilla ice cream, marshmallow cream, chocolate fudge drizzle, and crispy waffle cones. Wait for it, I'm gonna open this up and hold this up because it's just too good to show you the first time through a plastic bag. <gasps> Oh my goodness, you guys, look at these. So this does, the little top comes off here, but look at these. It smells absolutely delicious. I used to work for Rogers Chocolates in Victoria, British Columbia, right down on the, um, right downtown. And it smells just like chocolates. Oh, it smells really good, but it's better than chocolate. It's got waffle cone in it. But the chocolate fudge drizzle is just that. It's not like the number one thing I smell, which is good because I'm not like overly like, I have to have smell like chocolate. So, oh my God, holy crap. These is way bigger than I thought they were gonna be. So I'm super excited. Limited edition unicorn candy. This is by far the item or the scent that she created in basically everything possible. When it came to wax melts, bars, um, I think they had a little bit of everything when it came even to the soap, whip soaps and all that stuff. They had made them all in this unicorn candy, which everybody was all crazy for. So this is cotton candy lollipops, berry champagne. And there's two of these little um, like wafer type scents. So these come, there's actually two sets of wafer things here. Oh, now I understand. <laughs> Oh wow, that smells so good. It smells cold, like um, like not fizzy pop, but it's got, was it very champagne? There's definitely a champagne note to it. This is really nice and perfect because I can figure out how many pieces I want to put in each time I warm it. So I'm really looking forward to that. So this next one is in Yum Yum. This is ripe mango, crushed pineapple and coconut, limited edition for her summer. You guys, look at this. <gasps> It's so cool. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I smell the pineapple, then I smell the coconut, and then I smell the mango. You guys, I love all three of those scents. And again, I'm gonna, it's gonna be so sad to have to break these apart, but oh my gosh, so cute. So this shape here, which is ginormous again, definitely easy to slice this up at least six times, I would say for this size. This is I'll Follow the Sun, sea salt, pineapple, suntan lotion, and sun-soaked lemons. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love the sea salt. The sea salt gives a really nice freshness to this. 
Oh my gosh, and look at the colors. So awesome. Oh, it smells really good. It's actually something I would put in the bathrooms. Like this is something I would chop up and put in the bathroom. And I think it has to do with the sea salt. I feel like this would be really good. Mm, no, it smells really good. If you're afraid of suntan lotion, this is not a scent that has strong suntan lotion vibes to it. But And the lemon isn't like clawing out at you, but rather I get the sea salt and pineapple and then the other bits behind. But very nice. All right, so now we're gonna come up to some clamshells. I'm literally trying to keep these little things inside the box. Next up, we have Beachbound, which the scent descriptions are sunshine, tan lines, and beach vibes. I've had this before. This is a repurchase for me. Oh, it smells so good. Oh gosh, this is straight up by the pool, suntan lotion, sunscreen, that kind of thing. I love this one. Next up, we have another wax melt in the, the scent Hang Dry. This is freshly washed towels and cool morning dew. So again, I'm thinking this will be a really good one for the bathroom. Ooh, it's a bit sharp. I'm gonna say that um, the freshly washed towels is very sharp. I'm not gonna judge it until I melt it. It's the first time I've purchased this one. It smells good, but it's a, there's a sharpness about that towel scent. So I'm gonna play around with this one. Next up, we have Basic Beach, and it's a dual toned colored wax melt, and it's coconut, vanilla, sea salt, toast, and marshmallow. So to me, I, when I read that, I was like Bath and Body Works Beach Nights, 100%. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, this just smells so good again, two-toned. This I've never ordered from her before. Um, so I'm really excited to melt this because I do remember uh, Beach Nights from Bath & Body Works. I know it was a huge, big, big deal. And I love that one. And I think it's gonna be really good. Oh, new to me. This one is in Fiji. This is cocoa butter, pineapple, coconut, and tropical fruits. Oh, that smells so good. I'm getting the pineapple at the very tail end. I get coconut butter, coconut, pineapple, and then I guess tropical fruits and like way in the back. Oh, that is so nice. I'm really looking forward to melting this one in the heat of the summer. When I say heat for here, it's about 31 degrees, 30 or 31 degrees Celsius with the hum humidex factor is quite high right now. They have warnings everywhere right now. <laughs> it's hot and this would actually be really good to melt right now. Oh, this is a repurchase of mine. This is in flat white. So it is a dual toned uh, wax melt. And this one is espresso and vanilla cream. This, like I said, I've heard, I've had this one before. Oh, yes. I wish you would do some more coffee samplers. I love coffee. Oh, I would definitely get much more of this. I'm not sure if I got one or two of these. Anyway, this is a repurchase of mine. Fantastic coffee scent, especially if you prefer your coffee scents to stand out with the coffee notes first and then any of the extras like this one here is vanilla cream. That, that can be on the back burner. Um, this is definitely, if you love coffee. Mm, yeah. Oh, I did order a second clam of Fiji. So this one again is cocoa butter, pineapple, coconut, and tropical fruits. Ooh, this is a repurchase of mine as well. This is clean sheets. Again, you can see a theme. There's a lot of bathroom type scents that I, I purchased today. This is fresh linen, ozone, and cotton blossoms. Hmm. Oh, oh my gosh. So to me, this is what clean towels smells like. It's probably the bounce sheets and whatever you use, but this is, the other one was a bit, I'm gonna have to test it out warmed, but this one is like by far one of my favorites. It's got a really nice crisp laundry note to it. Um, and I do love my laundry notes. New to me is Mahalo. This is guava, coconut, pineapple, strawberry, and white cake. Gotta throw in that little bit of bakery in there with all that fruit. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's like kind of a dual tone here. I definitely get guava comes out first. I don't get as much white cake on cold, but who knows when this warms up. So guava, um, pineapple, then coconut, then strawberry. But white cake I don't get on cold, but again, that could totally change, but this smells fantastic. Okay, so an OG scent to Zape 
is one of my favorites and it was like the unicorn of wax for the longest time when it was the hunger games when it came to ordering um you only had so much of this particular scent you know how some vendors do it um but i remember i one year i was so ecstatic because i had tried a sample of this fell in love i had to wait a couple different restocks in order to get my hands on this because and i got it in two loaves and I just went through my last loaf like this time last year. So what am I talking about? That's lavender soda. And this was amazing. I remember it as being amazing. I, like I said, I chopped my last loaf that I've been holding on to since 2017, this time last year. So in 2020, fresh lavender and citrus fizz. So just think of, it sounds interesting and different. So just think of a seven up or a Sprite and then add lavender to it. And it's really, really good. And was very difficult to get your hands on at one time. Yeah, I have turned on many people to this scent and I know that it's become very popular over the years. I'm so happy. I couldn't be more happy. And this time of year, I'm so glad I have two of these. And then a, to a scent, another lavender scent. And I remember when when Ashley was making these and she was wearing like a hazmat, like mask and everything because she just couldn't stand the smell. Like, you know, even just because you... Uh, own a company and you make lots of things that smell great to so many others doesn't mean that you have to like everything and what am I talking about this time is lavender coconut milk this one she did not enjoy the smell of but I really enjoy it so this is soft lavender coconut milk and vanilla musk oh it's so pretty this will be so good for the summertime in the bedroom one little cube of this will be just fine in the bedroom as well Oh, this is so, so yummy. So Ashley, thank you for sacrificing your nose um, <laughs> to making this for us. So again, that's lavender coconut milk. So a new to me scent, uh, pineapple fizzy pops. Again, a very popular, very popular scent. So it is simply fresh cut pineapple and bubbly citrus fizz. So perfect for these hot days. Oh yeah, it smells so good. And it's still the bubbly fizz. Again, it add a little lemon lime fizziness to it as well as the pineapple. And that's what I get. It smells like a delicious cold drink. Chill out in your patio, in your yard, or you're on vacation somewhere. OMG, this smells really good. Next up, we have rainbow sherbet. This is key lime raspberry orange creamsicle. So Nelson loves his raspberry. And look at that. Look at the cool tones here. And then on the top, it's a totally different color. So very, very cool. Oh, this is nice. Mmm. I get the orange, but I'm wondering if it's on the bottom more. It's not as strong, which is very interesting because normally citrus scents are very strong. Mmm, it smells so good. So I get the orange on the bottom, and I think maybe the raspberry is on top. And yeah, this is so good, you guys. Next up, another bathroom scent coming to mama. This is Beach Towels, and it's described as lemongrass coconut freshly washed towels. So again, we have couple different colors down here and on the top very cool tie-dye oh that is actually a really cool tie-dye oh that smells so good this is really good you guys this is a repurchase for me beach towels again is like a staple it's something she brings out each summer this is so good oh it smells so so good I really love that color like really really cool Taper Fade. This is new to me, but it's I've been eyeing this on their website for quite some time. Shaving Cream and Yuzu. And Yuzu is kind of like a citrus. I believe it's found in Japan. I thought it would be a great combo to try. Oh, it is really good. It's fresh and clean. So just exactly how I would describe it because it is shaving cream and yuzu so i think this would be great in the bathroom as well so i am looking forward to it and again one cube so next up a brand new scent to me this is bora bora which is a place i would love to be anytime and <laughs> at all i would love to be in bora bora this is coconut butter coconut and tropical fruits so again it's a light color yellow on the bottom and it's kind of really nice pale blue on top oh interesting Ooh. This is really, really good. I think the cocoa butter just kind of tames the coconut to, to a point where it's not like coconut. Tropical fruits. I wonder which tropical fruits they are because I'm not, I'm not sure which tropical fruits they are, but oh man, this smells really, really good. Also new to me, this is Beach Bonfire right there. And it's just, I think, one tone here by the looks of it. This is Bonfire Embers, Sea Salt, Driftwood, and Soft Vanilla. 
Oh, it's got a, like a kind of a bluish gray and brown. Very masculine scent, actually. The bonfire embers are not strong. But it says more of a sultry evening melt. Um, yeah, it's definitely leaning towards more of like a men's fragrance type scent. And I believe she had beach bonfire in body care for certain certain pieces of body care. Oh, that's really good. That's interesting. So that's one that I'm probably going to melt. Mm, I'm probably going to melt this one in the bathroom. So it's the driftwood that kind of makes it... Uh, a little bit more masculine for me and more where I would probably melt this in the bathrooms for sure. Cubano. I've been eyeing this one up as well for quite some time. This is tobacco, caramel, and pineapple. I thought this was so interesting. I had to try it. Oh, this is so good. Tobacco, pineapple. Caramel comes out number one, then pineapple, and then tobacco. What an interesting blend. You guys, if you love that kind, if these notes even sound remotely intriguing to you, get you some. Another repurchase for me, this is Toes in the Sand. This is described as coconut, sweet, vanilla, and beach vibes. So it's dark blue and light blue on top with a little tiny bit of glitter. So nothing too crazy. So that's there. Oh yeah, this smells so good. Again, another beautiful freshie, but I think I might, I would enjoy this one in the living room versus a freshie in the bathroom, if that makes sense. This is definitely coconut, vanilla, tanning lotion. Beautiful, love it, you guys. Oh, so I got Yum Yum as well in a clamshell. So it's just the same as, just the same as the one we talked about before, which is described as bright mango, crushed pineapple, and coconut. So. Obviously, I was like, yes. So this is also new to me. This is White Sands, which is described as driftwood, eucalyptus, sea salt, and coconut. I can already tell this is dark, like a really cool blue with like a bit of brown. I can tell that these notes are definitely going to be bathroom worthy melts because I love these fresh ones in the bathroom. Oh, this is strong. That eucalyptus. Wow. I like this because eucalyptus brings the driftwood down a notch because driftwood can be very masculine leaning and very uh, woody, you know. So I'm really, yeah, I'm really going to enjoy this one, you guys, in the bathroom. I think. So I did purchase another beach bum clamshell, but it's the same scent as these ones. So this one, again, is described as coconut, vanilla, sugar cane, and summer fruits. Obviously, again, I loved it that much. Okay, this one I had to get because of the friggin' name. Bumpin' Uglies. <laughs> Honeydew Melon, Mandarin Orange, and Cotton Candy. Um, <laughs> yeah, you have to. Oh my goodness, so cool. So again, dual colored. Oh, that smells so good. Now, I'm team melon and I'm also team cucumber, but there's a lot of people who either one or the other they don't like or they don't like either. If you don't like melon stay away from this one i love melon and this is delicious so good you guys <sighs> honeydew melon yeah okay you guys we're getting down and near the end of the actual wax melts before we get into the body care so salted caramel macchiato this again i purchased a couple of her coffee samplers years ago this was one of them and i've had this i love this so this is vanilla caramel brown sugar sea salt espresso and whipped cream oh my gosh you guys again coffee leads number one which is really important in my books and everything else comes after it I definitely get the caramel and then the sea salt and then of course they you know whipped cream and yeah whipped cream is just sort of rounding it up but sea salt caramel espresso oh my goodness you guys so 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 good i think this is the last wax melt in my box there's so much stuff everywhere i'm not exactly sure <laughs> laundry day in marseille this is clean linens sweet pea cut grass warm spring air i've never had this before but again i've eyed it up on her website quite a few times so it's like a cool tie-dye again so again you can sort of tell by the laundry it's going to be a melt in the bathroom Oh, this again is beautiful, but it's a very pretty, but it's a very, very pretty like beach towel type scent. It's like a bounce sheet with a little bit more floral in it. It's really, really nice. Cut grass. I don't smell cut grass, but it smells really good, you guys. All right. So before we get into the body care, I may have other wax melts as I dig deep into this box because it was really big. 
but she threw in a sample of a body butter sugar scrub and candied citrus. Oh, like you guys, it smells like it smells like the best fruit roll up I've ever had. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Oh no, oh no. Does that mean I have to place another order? Maybe. Okay, so I just actually uh, took everything out of this box because there's so much of those little wormy little papers. I was just like, oh, I need to get rid of them. I need to get all this stuff out. So now we're gonna talk about all body butter, sugar scrub, and whip soap. So here we have in one of my favorite scents, I've told you guys how much I love this scent. This is in lavender soda. This is the body butter sugar scrub. So it's really, really creamy, very creamy. Oh my goodness. Oh. Lavender soda, yes. And I mean, it's full, guys. It's full to the brim. And the other body butter sugar scrub that I picked up is Yum Yum. So again, obviously you saw earlier how much I love that one apparently because I have it in many different forms. Oh, this is so good, you guys. So good. Again, a really wonderful whipped, nourishing. It's got like lots of butters in it. It's got a little bit of exfoliation. I don't, don't use these on your face. I would never recommend that. But for the rest of your body, if you're not super sensitive, definitely give these a go. I love a good scrub on my feet. So also just so you guys know, I picked up a two pack of these little lids. These lids, because those, as you saw, unscrew, I thought this was perfect. So Ashley sells these lids that go with any of these body care products that I'm going to be showing you. Uh, basically, it's a flip up top, which is great because those lids, although great, they are screw top. And when you're in the shower, you just kind of want to flick it off and grab what you need, put it, close it, and voila. So I got two, one because I knew I wanted, I like to pair up my sugar scrubs and my whip soaps at the same time. So of course I had to get two. So let's talk sugar whips. So this one is in Toes in the Sand, and this is a soap and a scrub. So again, really good for your body, very nourishing, very hard to open. Ooh, oh, let's look at that. So good, you guys. Oh my word. Oh, which one I wanna open first? First of all, problem. So Toes in the Sand, fantastic scent. Something I've been eyeing up on her website for quite some time in many different forms, but I'm like, I'm gonna just do this. I got a sugar whip in her scent, Victorian Lace. And the way it was described, I have not opened this. As you can see, there's like a little ribbon of glitter in there. I don't mind a little glitter. Um, I thought this might be like a really great dupe to Victoria's Secret Vanilla Lace. So now I'm gonna smell it for the first time. Oh my. Oh my gosh, Ashley, this smells like, it smells like what I miss. I miss Victoria's Secret's vanilla lace. But now I want her to make this in every single possible scrub, gel. So if you guys are a fan of Victoria's Secret's uh, vanilla lace, this is exactly a dupe. This is Victorian lace. So good. So again, Sugar Whip, I had to because this is my favorite scent that she actually put, produces. Like, absolutely, you know this. Um, I love lavender soda. You can tell because now I have it into sugar whip form. So again, I'm just opening it for the sake of opening it because I already know what it smells like because I have it in every single possible way. Oh my gosh, you guys, it doesn't change like nothing. The scent does not differ from the wax melt from the, the scrubs. And then what you'll see is I also got the soap. Beach Bum. This is the last sugar whip, which is a soap and a scrub together that I picked up. And again, Beach Bum is one of the scents that I've already showed you guys in wax melt form. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. Again, filled to the brim, beautiful colors. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to use these. And they're so perfect for the summertime. Man, I want to just jump in the shower right now. I need to slather my body with this. Okay, so now we're gonna go to an area that I love, um, body care. Again, I mentioned Zape and I've also mentioned the Bathing Garden where I really love their whipped soaps and their sugar scrubs. And when it came to Zape and their restock for summer, I stocked up because I loved whipped soaps. You can use on your body within the shower, but I don't tend to use them that way. What I use my whipped soaps for is to shave my legs. And there's nothing more luxurious than shaving your legs with some amazing scents. So the first one we're gonna talk about, of course, is in lavender soda. That is, again, no surprise. And the consistency of these soaps is just beautiful. It's creamy, as you guys can see. It's whipped. 
It's just beautiful. It's moisturizing, which is huge, especially with the summer months coming or the winter months. Save some of your favorites. Like there's a couple I might save for the winter. A, because I want to smell like summer, but B, um, the nourishment that you get from using these types of soaps on your legs to shave. Fantastic. So again, lavender soda, as you can tell, I love. And then we got the Victorian lace. And again, I'm so excited about this. Now I need it in every form. This is so good, you guys. It really reminds me of when I was in college and like going into Victoria's Secret and I would just, it would be a splurge for me to buy like the lotion. I'm so happy to be able to get this in a different form now. Beach Bum Body Soap. <laughs> Beach Bum Whip Soap. Again, I like to kind of pair, not everything was paired up, but I like to pair up my, my whip soaps to my scrubs because I like having them in at the same time. And again, so good. Yum, yum. So again, we have the wax melt, we have the scrub, and now we have the whip soap. Oh gosh, I gotta, I gotta open all of them. Ooh, look at the colors right here. This is so cool. Three more guys, if you can stick with me. This is Toes in the Sand Whip Soap, again. You guys know I love it because I got it in the, in the uh, wax melt form. So it's kind of layered there. Looks like the sand and the ocean. Oh gosh, I don't, I seriously have a problem. And it's not because I have too many. The problem is which one do I open first? Yeah, problem. Next up we have Beach Bound Whip Soap. Oh, this smells just like I'm in Mexico. Not the fruit, like, but the, the towels, the, the ocean breeze, the sand, the, the tanning lotion in, or the sunscreen. And last but not least, certainly not least, this is cupcake whip soap. So I was like, oh, I'm going to try a cupcake because why not? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This smells like a strawberry, um, like strawberry icing white with like a white cake with strawberry icing. Oh, that smells so good. So you guys, that was my big Zape wax and body care haul. And I am so excited. I don't know if you guys could tell in my voice how excited I was because seriously, you guys, it's been far too long since I've ordered from her. I'm actually looking forward to her fall launch. Um, Zape has basically, if you want to follow them on Facebook and Instagram, those are the places. Facebook is the best, prob probably the best place to go because she announces like the relaunches and all that fun stuff. And sometimes they play some really fun games to get some free products. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.